Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk through Atomic Habits by James Clear published in 2018. But before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. This book introduces a four-step model for human behavior. Q, craving, response, reward. Clear shares personal experiences, including a severe injury, to demonstrate the power of habits and how they can be used to achieve results. The book covers topics such as building better habits, making habits attractive and easy, and sticking with good habits. Small changes in consistency leads to significant results. The author also explores advanced tactics for achieving greatness and discusses the downside of creating good habits. Clear shares his own journey of personal growth and success, and how he applied the principles of habit formation in his own life. The writer introduces his journey of building better habits and the impact it has had on his life and work. He shares how he launched the Habits Academy, which became a popular training platform. He emphasizes the importance of small habits and how they can lead to significant improvements over time. He uses the example of the British cycling team and their strategy of making small, incremental changes in every aspect of their training and performance. Habits are the compound interest of self-improvement and that even a 1% improvement each day can lead to remarkable results. He encourages readers to focus on their habits and make small changes that will compound positively over time. The book emphasizes the concept of compounding in various aspects of life, Relationships and positive interactions can compound over time, leading to strong connections and support networks. Conversely, negative thoughts, stress, and outrage can also compound, leading to health issues or social unrest. The Plateau of Latent Potential, where progress may not be immediately visible, but is crucial for breakthrough moments, clear encourages perseverance in building habits, as significant changes may only occur after persisting through the plateau. He then introduces the importance of systems over goals, suggesting that focusing on the process rather than the outcome leads to long-term progress and happiness. Atomic habits are basically small routines that build upon each other to produce remarkable results. Atomic habits are small habits that are part of a larger system. Focusing on your system rather than setting goals is key to achieving better results. Clear's book also explores how habits shape your identity and why it can be difficult to form good habits. He introduces the concept of three levels of behavior change, outcomes, processes, and identity, suggesting that identity-based habits where you focus on who you want to become are more effective than outcome-based habits. The writer explains that behavior change is a result of changing your beliefs and that habits become part of your identity when you take pride in them. True behavior change is identity change and that progress requires continuously editing your beliefs and expanding your identity. Small habits can make a meaningful difference in becoming the best version of yourself. Habits are the key to changing your identity. By changing what you do, you can change who you are. Each habit teaches you to trust yourself and believe that you can accomplish what you set out to do. Every time you engage in a positive habit, you are casting a vote for that identity. Conversely, every time you engage in a bad habit, you reinforce a negative identity. It's important to note that you don't have to be perfect. You just need to win the majority of the time. Changing your identity requires new evidence, which can be achieved by making small wins and reinforcing your desired identity. Ultimately, habits matter because they help you become the person you want to be. Cravings are the driving force behind habits. They are not necessarily for the habit itself, but for the change it brings to our internal state. Cravings differ from person to person and are triggered by various cues, but they only become a habit if we have the motivation and ability to respond. The response is the actual habit we perform, and it is followed by a reward which satisfies our craving and teaches us which actions are worth remembering. The habit loop, consisting of cue, craving, response, and reward, forms an endless feedback loop that is constantly running in our brains. Understanding this loop and the four laws of behavior change, make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, make it satisfying, can help us create good habits and break bad ones. Ultimately, habits are automatic behaviors that solve problems with minimal effort and energy. It's important to pay attention to the cues and patterns that influence our habits, Appetite and hunger are non-consciously governed by our body through feedback loops that signal when it's time to eat again. 
Cravings can arise from hormones and chemicals in our body, leading to hunger even when we're not consciously aware of the cue. Habits are formed through repetition and become automatic, leading us to fall into old patterns without realizing. To change habits, awareness is crucial. The Habits Scorecard is a tool to become aware of our current habits, categorizing them as good, bad, or neutral. Another strategy is pointing and calling, which raises awareness by verbalizing our actions, implementation intentions which involve making a plan for when and where to act, greatly increase the likelihood of sticking to new habits. Specificity and clarity in our habits are key to successfully changing them. Habit stacking is a strategy that involves pairing a new habit with an existing habit. By doing this, the new habit becomes more automatic and easier to stick to. Habit stacking is a form of implementation intention, where the new habit is connected to a specific time and location. The key to successful habit stacking is selecting the right cue to kickstart the new habit. Make the new habit specific and clear, rather than vague or ambiguous. Clear's book gives examples of habit stacking for various habits such as meditation, exercise, gratitude, and safety. Additionally, the writer highlights the power of the environment in shaping behavior and provides examples of how changes in the environment can influence behavior. Overall, Habit stacking and creating an environment that supports desired habits can increase the likelihood of successfully forming new habits. Visual cues play an important role in influencing our behavior. Items placed at eye level are more likely to be purchased, and how brands strategically place their products in easy-to-reach locations on store shelves. The power of our senses, particularly vision, in perceiving and interacting with the world. By redesigning our environment and making cues for desired habits more obvious, we can increase the likelihood of engaging in those habits. The writer provides examples of how small changes in the environment, such as placing a medication bottle next to a faucet or displaying apples in a visible bowl, can lead to positive behavior change. It also highlights the association between habits and the context in which they occur and suggests that changing the environment can facilitate habit change. Habits can be formed and broken based on the environment and cues surrounding them. A study found soldiers in Vietnam were able to break their heroin addiction when they returned to the United States because their environment changed and they were no longer surrounded by triggers for drug use. Clear also challenges the idea that self-control and willpower alone are sufficient for behavior change, instead suggesting that creating a disciplined environment that minimizes exposure to cues for bad habits is more effective. He explains the concept of cue-induced wanting, where external triggers generate cravings for bad habits. The chapter concludes by outlining strategies for creating good habits and breaking bad ones, such as making cues of good habits obvious and visible, and reducing exposure to cues of bad habits. Video games, like board games, provide concentrated play experiences that are hard to resist. Our brains, like those of our ancestors, are susceptible to the temptations presented by these pleasure-packed experiences. To increase the likelihood of a behavior occurring, it must be made attractive. This is where understanding the role of dopamine and cravings becomes important. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter, plays a central role in motivation, learning, and memory. It is released not only when we experience pleasure, but also when we anticipate it. The anticipation of a reward is what motivates us to take action. Temptation bundling is a strategy that can be used to make habits more attractive by linking an action we want to do with an action we need to do. By creating an association between the desired behavior and a rewarding experience, we are more likely to find the behavior attractive and engage in it. The influence of family and friends in shaping our habits is also significant, as humans have a natural inclination to fit in and earn the approval of others. In the case of the Polgar sisters, their obsession with chess was normalized and encouraged, making it an attractive behavior for them. The social norms within our culture play a seductive role in shaping our habits and behavior. Clear emphasizes on the power of social influence when it comes to our habits. Humans have a strong desire to belong, which influences their behavior and decision-making. Culture and social norms play a significant role in shaping our habits, as we tend to imitate the behaviors and preferences of those around us. 
there are three groups that we often imitate, the close family and friends, the many, the tribe, and the powerful, those with status and prestige. Joining a culture where desired behavior is normal and having something in common with the group can make habits more attractive. Social pressure and conformity influence our choices, as well as the influence of admired individuals and the desire for approval and status. The author discusses a strategy to help smokers eliminate their cravings. He reframes each cue associated with smoking and gives it a new meaning, such as highlighting that cigarettes provide no real benefits and destroy one's nerves. By repeating these reframed phrases, the author aims to change the reader's perception of smoking, making it seem ridiculous and unnecessary. Clear also explores the underlying motives behind human behavior, emphasizing that our habits are solutions to ancient desires. He explains that habits are driven by predictions and feelings, and by reframing the associations we have with our habits, we can make them more or less attractive. The chapter concludes by providing strategies for creating good habits, such as making them obvious, attractive, and designing our environment accordingly. The third law of behavior change is to make it easy. Often we get caught up in planning and strategizing without actually taking action. Clear emphasizes the difference between being in motion, planning, strategizing, learning, and taking action, actually doing something. He argues that action is what produces results, not motion. He also discusses the importance of repetition in habit formation, stating that the more you repeat a behavior, the more automatic it becomes. He emphasizes the need to focus on practice rather than perfection, and highlights the law of least effort, which states that people naturally gravitate towards the option that requires the least amount of work. He concludes by stating that habits can hinder us from getting what we truly want, and that making habits easy can help us overcome this obstacle. Making habits easy helps to achieve desired outcomes. Meditation and journaling, for example, may be obstacles to the desired goal of feeling calm or thinking clearly, respectively. Instead, the focus should be on making habits so easy that they can be done even when one doesn't feel like it. This is achieved by reducing friction or obstacles between oneself and the desired end state. Environment design is one effective way to reduce friction by making cues more obvious and actions easier. The author also mentions the effectiveness of removing points of friction in various areas of life, such as tidying up and automating tasks. Additionally, he discusses priming the environment to make desired habits easier and unwanted behaviors more difficult. The key is to create an environment where doing the right thing is as easy as possible. The author introduces decisive moments, the small choices we make throughout the day that have a significant impact on our lives. These decisive moments act as forks in the road, determining the trajectory of our actions and ultimately shaping our outcomes. The two-minute rule is a strategy to make habits easier to start by breaking them down into a two-minute version. By focusing on the first two minutes of a habit, we can establish the habit itself and then build upon it. James Clear emphasizes the importance of showing up and reinforcing the identity we want to build through these small actions. Additionally, he explores the idea of commitment devices, which are choices made in the present to control future behavior. These commitment devices make bad habits harder to engage in and increase the likelihood of following through with good habits. Overall, the chapter highlights the power of small choices in shaping our habits and ultimately our lives. Automation can be important in shaping habits. Clear narrates the story of John Henry Patterson, who automated ethical behavior in his store by installing cash registers, leading to increased profits and the success of his business. He then explores various one-time actions that can automate good habits, such as buying a water filter for clean drinking water or enrolling in an automatic savings plan. Technology is highlighted as a powerful tool for automation, but it is also cautioned that it can lead to the automation of bad habits, such as excessive social media use. The author emphasizes the need to make good habits satisfying, using the example of how the use of a more enjoyable soap led to the adoption of handwashing habits in a Pakistani neighborhood, resulting in improved health outcomes. Overall, the four laws of behavior change are make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. Immediate reinforcement is crucial for a habit to stick, as it provides a sense of success and makes the work feel worthwhile. In a delayed return environment, 
Our brains are wired to prioritize instant gratification, which often leads to bad habits. However, delaying gratification and pursuing long-term rewards can lead to greater success. Immediate rewards can be added to habits that pay off in the long run, while immediate pain can be added to habits that don't align with our goals. Reinforcement is especially helpful for habits of avoidance, where it can make doing nothing satisfying. Short-term rewards should align with our long-term vision and reinforce our desired identity. Eventually, intrinsic rewards and our identity itself become the motivation to maintain a habit. Technique of habit tracking involves measuring and recording your progress in order to reinforce and maintain habits. Habit tracking can be done in various ways, such as using a calendar to mark off each day you stick with your routine or carrying a small booklet to track specific goals. The benefits of habit tracking are that it makes your habits obvious, attractive, and satisfying. It creates visual cues that remind you to act, motivates you by showing your progress, and provides a sense of satisfaction when you record successful instances of your habit. Habit tracking can be automated by using technology or manually done for important habits. Additionally, Clear's book mentions the importance of not letting a lapse in a habit discourage you, but rather quickly getting back on track to maintain consistency. It also warns about the potential pitfalls of measuring the wrong things or becoming too focused solely on numbers when tracking habits. Habit tracking is a simple way to measure progress and make habits more satisfying. It provides evidence of moving in the right direction and immediate pleasure. Accountability partners can also be effective in changing behavior by creating an immediate cost to inaction. This can be done through a habit contract, where commitments and punishments are outlined and signed by all parties involved. Adding an immediate cost to bad habits makes them less likely to be repeated. Governments use laws and regulations as a form of social contract to shape our habits, and individuals can create their own habit contracts to hold themselves accountable. Additionally, having an accountability partner or signing a habit contract helps in preventing procrastination and ensuring that promises are kept. Individuals are born with different abilities and genetic predispositions, which influence their success in certain fields. In order to achieve success, it is important to choose the right field of competition one that aligns with one's natural inclinations and abilities. Genes do not determine one's destiny, but rather determine their areas of opportunity. Clear emphasizes the importance of tailoring habits to one's personality and finding a game where the odds are in one's favor. Additionally, he mentions the explore-exploit trade-off, where individuals should initially explore different possibilities and then focus on the best solution that delivers positive results. It suggests asking questions such as what feels like fun, what makes one lose track of time, and what comes naturally in order to identify satisfying habits and areas of focus. Finally, the writer encourages creating a game where the odds are in one's favor if such a game cannot be found. The key to maximizing success is to choose a field or habit that aligns with your strengths and abilities. By creating your own game, tailored to your interests, you can make studying or working feel less like a chore and more enjoyable. Specializing and mastering your skills in a specific area allows you to stand out from the competition and overcome any genetic limitations. It is important to focus on fulfilling your own potential rather than comparing yourself to others, as everyone has different genetic advantages and disadvantages. Genes alone cannot make you successful. Hard work and dedication are essential. Choosing tasks or habits that are at a just manageable difficulty level keeps you motivated and engaged, allowing for continued growth and improvement. Ultimately, success comes from persistently working on your goals, even when the excitement fades and boredom sets in. In his book, James Clear emphasizes the importance of sticking to habits even when motivation is lacking. Professionals understand the value of consistency and prioritize their goals over momentary moods. The Goldilocks rule states that humans are most motivated when working on tasks that challenge their current abilities. While habits provide a strong foundation for mastery, there is also a downside. As habits become routine, they can become less interesting and less satisfying, leading to mistakes and complacency. To combat this, Clear suggests implementing a system for reflection and review. This can range from simple note-taking to more in-depth analysis of performance. Reflection helps to increase awareness of mistakes and provides a pathway for improvement. 
Ultimately, the key to continual growth and mastery lies in finding the balance between automatic habits and deliberate practice. The writer also discusses the downsides of building habits and how they can hold us back from personal growth. When our identity becomes attached to certain beliefs or roles, it can be difficult to adapt when circumstances change. The key is to redefine ourselves in a way that allows for flexibility. By keeping our identity small and focusing on the underlying qualities or values rather than specific roles, we can navigate life's changes more effectively. Self-awareness, reflection, and continuous improvement are important in building lasting habits. Small, incremental changes over time can have a transformative impact on our lives. The secret to achieving long-lasting results is to never stop making improvements and to harness the power of atomic habits. Thank you so much for watching this video. Your support means the world to us. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'll see you in the next video.